a structural deficiency. Okay. Number four is what they, they are trying to do is that they are empower, empowering the people. Those who are related to the eye health, like doctors, paramedics, and they are training them well, so that they do good surgeries, so they do so that they do, do good refraction, so that they improve the quality of eye health in the community. And fourth is the awareness of the community. How we can aware the community, how they can go to the health institution or health care provider. Once there is some problem in this vision, they should be able to go. They should be able to suppose somebody that knows that I have an eye problem. He does not, he or she does not have money to spend, or he does not have access to the health care institute. That becomes a problem. So uh, from that point, the blindness sets in that problem. So we have so many different problems in the world. Topmost among them are what? What is avoidable blindness? Avoidable blindness is the vision loss which could have been prevented. Which could have been which could have been prevented by treatment. Which which has happened because of the lack of eye health care or the quality of eye health care. So what are the different causes of these blindness? There are two main causes in the world. How many? Two. One is cataract and other is, other is refractive errors. One is cataract. You should understand, refractive errors are the second most common cause of blindness. Okay. Cataract, you know that cataract is a age related process. You understand? And this is one more. Um, one more aspect of cataract that is childhood cataract or a congenital cataract, which can lead to blindness. Suppose some child is born with cataract, mature cataract, and this he is not being operated in the first year of life. And after the first year he develops this type of and other this eye is gone for an hour. He will not see life long. So there comes the care, there comes the infrastructure. Suppose somebody has recognized at the time of birth or within few months of birth, that child has a cataract and he is being taken to the proper institution. He is getting operated. That is the prevention of blindness. That is avoiding blindness. Because if he is not operated, he will be blind like that. If he is operated, he will, be, he will have vision like that. And you can understand that if somebody loses vision, somebody lose vision, how much impact it has on life. I told once in a very good I Institute, I told there are different branches in our ophthalmology, like cataract, like cornea, like retina, like oculoplastic. I told one, one person asked somebody, what do you want to take? She told that I want to treat the person behind the blindness. You understand? This is one one uh, one aspect that that is the silent silent no sight loss. What what is that aspect? Suppose somebody is a very less vision. Somebody is a so you are helping that person with low vision aids like magnifying glasses, like TV with the bigger prints with laptops or uh, tabs with bigger prints, you are helping that person. That is you are treating the person behind his blindness. You are not treating, you are not doing any surgery, you are not, but you are treating the person behind his blindness. That's very important to understand. So cataract is a major cause, it's around 51% of the world's population, world blindness, which has a cataract. And uh, worldwide, there are now emphasis on uh, techniques, improved techniques in cataract removal, on the manpower trials. So it is coming gradually down. But there are still in far Africa, and there are 
different countries, Vietnam and other, other countries, where they set up like one is in here. One is in here, there is a lot of large chunk of um, people who are getting blind and get that. In India, annually, around 60 lakh and is done. How many? 60 lakh. 60 lakh and But despite that, the background is still there. And uh, people are getting because of the blind because of the cat. So, recognition that somebody is a cat taking him to the proper health institution, getting him operated, so that is the crux of the prevention of this life. So anybody can pick up, if any doctor at the health center, he can pick up a cat he can refer his institute by this eye facility that are available, and personally go, either in the government or in the private, and then they, uh, they will treat that cat they will operate on you, because there is a high chance in cataract surgery, a person will get to regain vision. What is the um, success rate of, what is the complication rate in cataract surgery? Hmm? One person? No. It is four person. How many? Four person is the surgery of the cataract, risk of the cataract surgery. Complication rate in cataract surgery is low. So 96 percent chances are that the person can regain vision. So surgery is the mainstay of treatment in case of cataract. Number second slogan. Number second slogan apart from cataract is the refractive errors. Is the refractive errors. They are second most common cause of blindness. And what should be the slogan? Give them a pair of glasses, the blind is the goal. But give them a give them a pair of glasses like this and blind is the goal. So a pair of glasses can prevent the blindness. Suppose somebody is in a minus 10, he or she is not able to see up to this level or even this level. If you give a pair of glasses, all of you, he can see the vision nice. He can see the world nice. His, his or her mental development is not. You know, one person I saw, he was, he was having a refractive error. He was having a refractive error. And because of this, that, there was inattention with loss. He was not able to read properly with loss. Then somebody took him, he was from an underdeveloped country like America. Then somebody took him to the, some health center and they gave him the glasses. They gave him glasses. So he could read now well, write now well, and he, he became a doctor. He did everything he became a doctor. Then after that he became an eye surgeon. He became an ophthalmologist. So that's how they go. So till then his performance was very poor. But after that pair of glasses, he regained all his interest all his attention. So reflective errors in children should be detected at the earliest. As you know, reflective errors are of different types, myopia, hypermetropia, astigmatism. So these are three main types of reflective errors in children. Now, the important thing is in this is after four or five years, you should do a cycloplegic reflection. But Cyclopleasic refraction. Because what? Because, because the cerebral body tone is very high in children. That's it. Very high in children. Hypermetropia, hypermetropia may, may not be manifested. May not be, because that's compensated by this, this cerebral body tone, by the height accommodation. So that's why it is recommended we have to do a cyclopathy refractive injury. Number second is the myopia. This is a new bandit. This is a new bandit. And I think uh, in 2050, around 50% of the world's population will be myopia. That means every other person will be myopia. 
is a very serious situation. As we have seen in the recent COVID era, that due to online classes, the rate of myopia progress is very serious because of the excessive use of the digital devices, because of the excessive use of um, systems, digital systems, laptops and computers. So any uh, increased uh, near work, any increased yeah. near work will increase the myopia. And any increased, uh, any decrease in the outdoor activity. So sunlight is a very important thing in myopia progression. If after two hours anybody uses sunlight or the outdoor activity, chances of myopia progression are very less. And number third, most important is the genetics. If your father or mother is a myopic, there is a very great chance that the child shall be myopic. And in them, increasing their birth is a predisposition to the development of myopia. And myopia develops generally in the in the children, in the puberty, in the adolescence. Because this is the growth period of the body. This is the growth period of the body. And with this growth period, the eyes also increase in the size. And once there is more stimulus to the increase, uh, eye size, the actual diameter or the actual length of eye body increases. It is to my own. So there are now different strategies to curtail this myopia. What are the different strategies? I am not telling about this laser treatment. I am telling first the fear of glasses. Because apparently people, they do not afford this also. You understand? Or in the poor, poor community, they will not afford this one also. So this is first. This is then other things are portalizers. Okay, in my opinion. Then third important thing is there are different now, types of glasses which do a peripheral defocus. Defocusing lens, dim lens, they are advanced glasses which prevent the progression of the because in the periphery, the rays are not focused on the retina. They, are, they go behind the retina. They go in the macula, they are focused by a minus lens. But in the periphery of the retina, they are focused behind the lens. What they do, somebody has a minus 4 something. In the periphery, it will be minus 3 only. So they do a defocus. They do a defocus. So reflective lenses are very important, very, very important. So same applies to hypermetro. Hypermetropia, basically child is born with hypermetropia. One child is born, he has a high hypermetropia. He can see the mother very accurately, but distance little is not there. So with age, then he becomes a metropia. With age, he becomes a metropia. So every child is born with a high hypermetropia. So that's normal. That's not something abnormal. But after two, three years, I think every child should be screened for the traffic errors, irrespective of genetics or Whether somebody has a genetic myopia or not, or hypermetropia or not, but he should be screened. So yearly check of the children is a must for the traffic errors. Especially in this digital era, when people are giving a mobile to a child, that he doesn't keep quiet, play some game with it. So this induces myopia. This induces myopia because he is uh, doing overuse of the ear. So generally, and there are other side effects of that. It affects brain and other things and other things, radiation and this, but this is one of the effects. So you can develop myopia because. How many people you see in children, mobiles and this and tabs? How many mothers do you see? Almost 90 percent. 95%. So this is that this front has to go. This front has to be stopped. 
and can help to screen every peer for the criteria. Then third, the second most important is the hypermetropia. Hypermetropia, as you know, the hypermetropia, the eye is small, and the rays are focused behind the retina, and the rays are focused behind the retina. So they have more problem with the reading. They have more problem with the reading. They are not able to focus the closer things properly. Okay. So because of that, they are not able to perform well in classes. Their academic performance becomes a problem. They get a frequent headache because of the strain. They avoid going to school. So these are the psychosocial aspects of refractive errors. So every parent, every father has to understand that I have to screen my child for the refractive error. Third is the astigmatism. I think that is the most dangerous thing to have an astigmatism. Because in astigmatism there is a lot of blood. There is a lot of blood. In hypermetropia or myopia there is a single focus. There is still a single focus. But in astigmatism there is a diffuse focus. There is a diffuse focus. And that diffuse focus is called circle of rays diffusion. Circle of rays. So the rays, the horizontal rays are focused at one place and the vertical rays are focused at another place. So it becomes a circle. So they become the great blurry of the region. They become the extreme headache. You can develop your skin tint because of that. So overall, the refract, these three refractive errors, astigmatism, hypermetropia, and myopia, they are the second most important cause of blindness of the head. And a pair of glasses can solve this problem. So this child uh, has to be taken to another center. They have to be uh, subjected to good refraction and he has to be dressed with glasses and it is to be ensured that he wears the glasses. Let's you know, suppose someone does not wear a glasses, what will happen? First of all, he is mental health, some of my occupation, minus two minus four, or he will not use the glasses. So he will not see the world. And his mental development will not die. First thing. Number second, you know any refractive error, any refractive error which is not corrected can lead to a blow. Who one for the body? The glory is here. If I find any name in you, I will not allow the back to be. So and what's the envelope here? Amblopia is a decrease in vision. Is it? Decrease in vision. Then the eye more of its neuronal connection are normal. Okay. And what is the most common cause of amblopia? The other what the other name of amblopia? Lazy eye. What are the what are the causes of this lazy eye? High myopia, high hyperbatopia, this asymmetrism. Uh, these are the most important causes of amblopia. There are other like statistic amblopia, dissecting or stimulus deprivation amblopia because of the cataract. But they are very less, they are not so common. So, better to understand that a pair of glasses can prevent the blindness. So, cataract and refractive, these are two. Third comes after these two comes the glaucoma. Comes the glaucoma. Glaucoma, as you know, is the optic neuro factor. Generally, it manifests us after 40 50 years of age. So we have a congenital glaucoma also. So again, the congenital glaucoma or lateral glaucoma we have to treat. But what happens? Practically, what happens? That the congenital glaucoma you need that is very tested immediately. But in elderly, this is a very high uh, missing rate, very high missing rate in glaucoma. Why? Why is this high missing rate in glaucoma? 
Italian. We used to use it in Italian doctor Moscow to see the optic disc. But nowadays it is considered to be not that good. What we use, we use the 78 or 90 lens on the system and we go why? Why is that? Because we are using our both eyes to see the optic disc. We have a depth perception. We have once we are using a direct optical microscope, you are using only one eye. So it does not have a depth perception. So you are not seeing the cup. So somebody comes after 40, 50 with some complaints, ask him two, three things. Ask him what the major thing to talk to Look at this disc, whether it is normal or abnormal. How you can say a disc is normal or abnormal? Get up if you know me, tell me if you know me. Cup is pressure. Cup is pressure. Can you tell me the neural retinal ring thickness? No. Sit down. Anybody can tell me neural retinal thickness in different quarters? Everybody keep quiet. Don't do side jobs. If somebody wants to tell, get up and tell me. If somebody has guts to tell, get up and tell me clearly. If somebody has no guts, then keep quiet, don't talk silence. This is, isn't true. I S N T. What? Is it true? Inferior neural retinal ring is thick. Inferior neural retinal ring is thick. That pinkish. Followed by speed. Followed by speed. Then followed by lazy. Then followed by tempo. So, physiological cup is always positive and glucometer's cup is always good. So, it will cause a thinning of the inferior neural ring or superior neural ring. So, any, any field loss in the superior or the inferior is glucometer. Any nerve loss superior or inferior is, is glucometer. Any, any neural loss. Temporal or laser is neurology. Is neurology. Like pituitary you know, brain tumor. But in this case, glaucoma only losses superior or inferior of the neural retinal tumor. Suppose there is an inferior loss. Normally there occurs inferior loss more because there is a more thicker. So it will cause a superior failure. Inferior loss will cause superior failure. And superior loss will cause inferior field. So that's how you diagnose glaucoma. And most important then becomes the field analysis. Perimetry what we call it. So perimetry has to be done automatically. They have to exactly see how much many spots he has just mentioned. How is the probability of those spots in the population compared to the age of the So perimetry you must be separate. Then one more is the one more cause of avoidable blindness is trachoma. That is trachoma. Trachoma is a conjunctivitis as you know. So it is caused by lamina trachomatis. So generally the sanitation and the poor hygiene leads to this condition. And it causes some problem, it causes some fibrosis in the eye. It causes fibrosis and uh, keratitis. It causes leg problem, leg fibrosis on the inner side. It can cause entropia, it can cause diagnosis, it can cause coronal opacity. So that can lead to blindness. So just what if you suspect, Lamina has come very down the world. But one of the most important features of Lamina is follicles. What is? Generally what we see in allergy and viral allergies, we see peptides. So you see, what is the difference between peptide and follicle of the torso? Anybody can tell me you get up. No side talks. Peptide are very small. They are very, very small. And they have a central core of blood vessels. They have central core of blood vessels. The follicles are they are white. They are, they are white. They are bigger size, like 0.5 mm. 
and they have a surrounding rest plane. So center is very pale, like a rice plane. So this is the difference between the two. Between because the follicles are found in what? Thalamite, trachoma, and uh, definitely are found in energy and vital conjecture. Then most important, this is the trachoma has come down glossy in the world. What is the treatment for trachoma? Anybody who knows it, get up and tell me. I think you have read the uh, conjecture. There are two drugs only. One you must all be knowing them, I think. Dog cycling and estromycin. Dog cycling and estromycin, which is very effective against cancer. And they can be given orally by mouth, or they can be given by point topically. That is the thing. So if somebody has a cancer, and because of that, he has become blind. Suppose so I am blind. If he, have, he will be given treatment at that point of time by estromycin or by dog cycling, it could have been prevented. Number fifth becomes in river blindness. River? Oncocidesis. The keys. Oncocidesis. That's a parasitic infection. That's it? Parasitic infection, which is found in the aperica also. What's the other name of this? The river blindness. Is it? River blindness. So there's the black flies, they are kicking your skin, then the microplasia goes through the subcutaneous route by a lymphatic route, then it affects the eyes and other organs also through the skin, cutaneous region or the it causes retinitis, polyuretinitis, or endochrome or whatever causes. Because they die, then there is a immune reaction in the And because of that immune reaction, there is an inflammation in the eye. And because of the inflammation, the person, the child, loses the eyesight. So there are different measures what, what can be done. First, you can uh, do the, that those black lines, they can be controlled. Then you can apply something on your second and this and this, so that uh, they, it becomes an insecticidal type of this. Number third is now if somebody has got infected and he has some eye region and this, then you have to treat it. What's the treatment for this? Which anti parasite drug was given during COVID? Ivermectin, yes, Ivermectin is the treatment for this. Ivermectin is the treatment of choice for a liver blindness. So remember this. I was left. I was left. So you can read about the liver blindness and all that. That's separate topic. Then one more important one is the vitamin A difference. Vitamin A, which is the preventable blindness. This is the avoidable blindness. And you know that vitamin A deficiency is called different problem. Anybody can tell me what problem you can call? What is the other term for vitamin A deficiency? Zero term. So what are the first signs of zero term? Conjectures, conjectures, zero Conjectures? What are those spots called? Then? Then it can lead to night blindness. <coughs> okay. Then it can lead to even corneal blindness, corneal pasties. You understand? Alteration. So what is the treatment? Treatment is simple. Give one like you in intramuscular. That's it. And you can prevent that child going into blindness. Then, then you, there is a uh, immunization schedule by the 
children, which give a vitamin A to the children at the normal immunization protocols. And that is being followed nowadays. So that prevents the onset of xerophthalmia and the vitamin A deficiency related blindness. But if somebody detects by God's cause, if somebody detects by God's cause, he should start the treatment of the child. He should not let it continue. He should not ignore that sign. That because that's the earliest sign. That is the earliest sign. Because vitamin A is really important for the functioning of the epithelial cells. Okay. And it is really important for the functioning of the rods, rhodopsin resistance. So it can lead to night blindness. So what is that they can be dietary consumption? And as we know, carrot is a very rich source of vitamin A, but not cooked. It should be in the salad form. You have to take it. Because that contains beta carotene. So simple things sometimes can prevent big disasters. Imagine a vitamin A addiction child becoming blind of 10 years. And it's a disaster for his life and for his family. So our job is to detect it at the right time and treat it at the right time. What do you think? <laughs> That one of the, this, uh, uh, my question was, what else is 
लेकिन कौन लेकिन कौन स्टाइल्स लेकिन कौन स्टाइल्स मल्टीपल स्टाइल्स और वेटरेट स्टाइल्स ओके अब उधर चलो बेटा अब उधर चलो बेटा कम ले लो वो तो टोल दे Six months, the fundus examination. 